Hello, I'm Professor Catherine Barnard. I'm a health psychologist from the UK. And here we are in Berlin at the ATTD conference. So tomorrow I am doing two talks on the main program. One in the morning on technologies and psychosocial aspects of diabetes. Are they head to head or do they go hand in hand? And then in the afternoon, I'm doing a talk about an evaluation of patient reported outcomes. So the morning session about technologies and diabetes and psychosocial aspects is very much around the argument that there's always going to be a person attached to this device, irrespective of the level of technology that's involved and the functionality of that device. Ultimately, it will always require human interaction. And the burden or otherwise of that technology in a person's everyday life is crucial in whether they're going to be able or willing to use it. A consensus document is often mooted as a good idea. I am not in that camp, to be honest. I think better reporting of psychosocial aspects in the literature is crucial. I think consistency of assessment of key psychological um, constructs is crucial. Um, however, I think that it's... <laughs> To artificially limit the measures that can be used, I think would do a disservice to the psychosocial investigation alongside clinical outcomes.